Okay, so this is an example of a logo that I've made up for Granny's Chocolates. I'm just going to talk you through how I did it um, and then give you a few hints on what you can do to make yours look good. Uh, and also, the most important thing is how you get this image out of TechSoft Designer into an image format so you can then bring it back into your package design that you're going to make later on. So if I actually click on any of the objects here, so I click on this on this round circle, so I get my selection tool, click on the round circle. If I click on the property, I can see that basically what I've got here is a circle that's got a gradient fill. So if I actually went into the fill, I can go in and I can see that I've gone for a gradient fill. The shape is circular, and I've chosen purple as the first color and yellow as the second color. Now, you can play around with any of these things. If you want to do a gradient fill, you just choose the type of gradient you want and you can click on them and see what they look like. They all look different if you play around with them. I'm going to cancel this one because I don't want to change any of mine, but if I want to change colors, I come down here and so on. So there's lots of things you can do that way. So basically, I've got a circle that I've drawn in the first place. I've got a second circle. If I select that one, the one that's a picture of chocolate and go into the property of that one, all I've got here is, again, I've done a fill, but this time when I did fill, I chose a texture fill and I loaded my own texture. So I basically downloaded from the internet. Mine's not saved in there. I downloaded a picture of chocolate from the internet, came in here, chose texture, said load text, and I chose my own picture, and it put that in inside the circle shape. So you can do that kind of thing. You can choose your own textures that come as part of um, TechSoft Designer, or you can get your own pictures up. So that's what I did in the center one. And then I've got some circular um, text. So how did I do circular text? Well, the easiest way to explain it is I basically, I, I, I drew myself a circle in the first place. And then I drew a line across my circle. And I removed the bits I didn't want. So I went for delete any. Say I don't want this part of the circle. I don't want this bit of the line anymore. So I've basically drawn myself curved shape then I came up to here where it says ABC I've held down and I've gone to this last one which says draw text along the path it's asking me to locate my path I choose my path it's gone pink I type my text in now the same as normal I can go into my settings and I can change whatever I want to do the color of my font and so on uh, and I can choose things to do with the height and whether it's upside down or whatever but at the moment um, all I'm going to do is say okay to that and okay and you can see that it puts my text up now. It's a horrible font that I've got used here at the moment. But you get to understand how that works. So later I can come back to my delete and just get rid of the curve. And I'm left with my text. If I select my text, I can go into it. I can move it around. If I decide I don't like that text, I can go back into the property of it. I can change this to something that's maybe more, more useful or looks nicer. Uh, I can change my colors, so if I didn't want it to be purple, I'll make it pink or something instead. I can do all of these things and, um, and change it all about. So really, that's pretty much all I've done on this one. Now, you can combine and use as many different shapes. You can draw your own patterns. You can put your text wherever you want. It's up to you. Um, all I've done on here is I've used an A4 page rather than an A3 because my, my actual logo is not very um, big doesn't need to be big. In fact, this is bigger than I need anyway. If I go up here and I look at my setup of the drawing in my layout, I've chosen A4 landscape instead of A3, simply because I don't need it to be big. So when I've drawn and saved my logo, I need to export it. So I go File. I choose the word Export. Now, this is where you've got to be a little bit careful. So I've done one earlier. So I'm, I'm going to choose the same name and just put a 2 on the end. So there's my logo. It's not going to be a JPEG. I'm going to choose a PNG. You can see, again, I've already done one PNG, and it looks like the background is black. And I'll explain why in a moment. I'm going to hit Save. And up here, I'm going to choose um, 96 is probably OK. This is the quality of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Background Color and say Black. Now, what that is going to do for me is it's going to make the, the surrounding part around that drawing go black. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, I want to do that for when I bring it into my um, next design, when I design a package. So this is now in my folder view, 
and this is the one I've just saved, Mr. M logo 2, and it's a PNG, and you can see that the surrounding part of my logo has gone black. I've also done one other design. I did a snowflake, and I've just drawn this as a um, one joined up line and filled it with a white color. And again, when I saved it, I saved the background and said make the background go black. And the reason for that, again, is so that when I bring it into my package design for the next task, I can actually make the, the background look transparent by choosing black as the color to be transparent. And you'll see that in the next video. But basically, that's all you need to know to create your own logo. Good luck.